what's up it's your girl Keisha. So it's finally August which means we're this much closer to going back to school. I don't know about you but I'm kind of excited which I know is like an eager beaver kind of thing to say but I just find like when I'm in school I'm like busy. I'm like ugh, not busy but like I like being having something to do and like in the summer I mean it's just work and it's like it's not that exciting but um, yeah so when the school year is on like everything's just like flying at you and I love that sometimes. In this month of August, I'm going to be giving you guys a special treat. I'm going to do eight videos of back to school theme, eight, eight back to school theme videos. I'm going to have two every week, one on Sunday and one on Wednesday. So today we're going to kick off our back to school month with one of the things that like is most important to me, I would say, whether I'm in school and whether I'm not. And if you guys can guess by the title, what I'm talking about is agendas. Now. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and click that red button to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm the type of person who has to be like so organized. I break down everything I have to do into like little tasks and I put them like everywhere in my room. So first of all, there are so many different agendas you can get. You can get agendas that are like monthly, you can get ones that are like days, you can get ones that are big and ones that are really tiny. It just depends on what you're gonna write in it. If you're the type of person that's gonna write out like all of your homework, I definitely suggest getting a bigger, you know, bigger space to write it down. If you're just gonna put like chapter one on it, then you don't really need that much space. For me, I prefer my agendas to be weekly, and um, that's just how I like it. I also, the agenda that I have also has like monthly view in it, which I do use like at a glance, but like I use the, the week by week kind of thing. Also, you can put agendas on your phone or on your tablet or on your laptop. I use that sometimes just to have like reminders remind me like when I'm on my computer, it will just pop up, so it's a lot easier that way. And then there's also things like this, these little like papers that say daily reminders week at a glance and then you can just stick these on your on your fridge or whatever and just have them there so I think that's really cool too one thing that I do like in the summer like I told you guys I still like to keep really organized so I make these little agendas I know I'm so such a nerd but like this one is, was for June and this is for July I draw out the calendar and then I have it like this on every week and that's what I do in the summer another thing that I like to keep is an actual calendar like a whiteboard calendar and I like this because I can just wipe it off use markers and write them back in so obviously this is July because I haven't wiped it off yet but um yeah when I finish a day just so I know what day it is today I always X out the day and that helps me keep track. Like at a glance, I'm like, okay, I know what day it is today because everything's X'd out. I have everything in green over here was for my YouTube videos this month. Um, if it's work, then it's in blue, and then and then everything else is like in pink. So before I get into my actual agenda, I'm gonna show you guys an app that I actually use on a daily basis to keep myself a little bit more organized. So basically, the app that I use is called Any Dune. It looks like this. It just has it says my name, Hi Lakeisha. You can organize it into different um, categories. So here I have all tasks, work, personal, school, and YouTube. And you can create more at the bottom with the plus sign right there. So when you go into all tasks, it just shows you a list of everything that you have to do today. And what I love about this is that every single morning it pops up and reminds me, well whatever time I have, it pops up and reminds me what I have to do. And also what I love about it is that, I don't know what this is called, but when you drop this down it shows the task right there as well. So it just makes it really handy. Every time you look in that box you see what you have to do. Now we're going to jump right into my agenda. So this is the agenda that I got. I got this at Walmart to see the other day it's the markings by CR Gibson's um, I'll put all the details down below but it's an 18 month dated planner it goes from July 2015 to December 2016 and it's bounded in real leather I think it looks a lot more mature and um, I love that it kind of looks like a Bible if you guys see it's like there's gold detailing on the side it's really it's just black it has gold the date on the top and I just think it looks like a Bible which is you know it's so fitting because it's like my school Bible pretty much and then I just have this paper clip that I made at the top and I put a ribbon on it just to give it a little bit more and my favorite color as you guys know is red so obviously it's gonna be polka dotted I think it reminded me of Mickey Mouse that's why I put it there anyway so it has this elastic which I love oh and just so you guys know this was uh, about $16 at Walmart I think so when you open the agenda this is what it would look like and the first page is actually like information page but I just clipped that for because I already filled it out. Over here is just a yearly overview, so it shows you 2015 all the way to 2018. Then moving on, we have holidays. 
on the next side we have important dates which you can fill out this is how it came I don't know what happened but mm, something happened anyway but you can fill out important dates that you have like birthdays and anniversaries or just whatever is important for you and then you have a couple pages of notes this agenda like I said starts in July so this is this month and it has like this little ribbon to keep you in place for this they have all of the months in front and then they have all the weekly stuff behind which I don't really like I, I prefer if it was like July the month then the week then August the month then the week but whatever what can you do so this is how I have it set up right now I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it like this I typically outline the month with like a marker or like a pen or something so that I can actually see what the month looks like so I, I think that's really cool and then in red I've decided to make all my YouTube videos in red in the calendar and in black is just any random things that I have to do okay then we have the next month like I said before and I think I'm gonna outline in red rather than doing it random colors but as you can see so let me just go ahead and put this ribbon back to where it's supposed to be and now we're gonna go into the week so like I said before I have this clip right here this paper clip that marks where the week is and this is this week which there isn't a lot of stuff here so I decided to make a mock week for you guys so this is basically what a week for me would look like okay so at the beginning we have Monday it says meet with professor at 9 a.m. so this is just if I have random things that I have to write down I would put them in black and then underline them with yellow so I know that it's like important and then here if anything has to do with work then I put it in dark blue pen at the beginning of the year your teacher would give you like an outline and from that I go through my agenda and I write down all the days that I have things due if I have whatever chapter we have to read that week if we have an essay coming up if we have when our exams are when our tests are I go through my agenda and write them all in I'll go more into detail about outlines in another video but that's basically what that is so as you can see every color I have I have a different color for it so this class would be in blue and this is chapter one which is the one the reading that we have for that week down here on the Wednesday it says reading on Moodle that's also in a different color because it's a different class and then everything that's in pink I know is for this class everything in green and I was for that class and then on the other side over here we have more stuff so over here on the next side of the week I have a few things that are a little bit different down here is as usual I have my YouTube video I have it on a yellow sticky note and down here is a little purple flag which means I have a text next week for this class so if I find that I have a to-do list and I want to put it in my agenda and I don't have much space to write it I would attach some a few extra sheets of paper for me to write on so right here is my to-do list which I haven't have anything on it but I would attach it with people piece of tape and staple a few pieces of paper together with that so I hope you guys like this video and really enjoyed me sharing with you guys my organizational kind of method or whatever. Um, I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye. So I hope you guys liked that video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you beautiful, lovely people in my next video. Bye.